time has come. All nations, all the means of communications, the Church of Jesus Christ, gather to hear the ruler of the Gentiles, the one who died, was resurrected, and returned to life. He has returned. The Lord is here. José Luis de Jesús Miranda The Man Christ Jesus Hello Blessed. Today's topic is Growing in Grace Anniversary And now The Man Christ Jesus Thousands of years ago, God created his children and called them gods, son of the Almighty. Years passed and his children were destitute of his glory because of the first Adam. So then, he himself took on a body of flesh and on the cross, he constituted them once again. He perfected them, justified them and sanctified them with one offering, his death. But he did not transform them, but rather he left that event as a promise. And that promise would be fulfilled with the explanation of his mind, his counseling, his gospel. And for this, he took on a body he appeared for the second time without reference to sin, and this time he did not appear to die and resurrect, but rather to clarify, explain, and edify his children, his church. And that's how in 1946, he took on a body once again. God was manifested in flesh. And after 40 years, in his decree, he decided to establish his government. You are a spirit that lives in a body. You are not a body. You are a spirit that lives in a body. This is movable. He established the immovable things. That's why he has given you an immovable kingdom. Showing his church his true spiritual position. Well... The Bible says that we are seated next to him in the heavenly places. How many of you believe that? That's what the Bible says. So then you should not even think about it. You should say, amen. I believe it, pastor. The Bible says that he seated us together with him in the heavenly places. Those heavenly places, that's where the congregation of the just spirits made perfect are. Removing us from religion. The Lord is speaking to you clearly so that this ministry, if you're not in the truth, many people have come to this ministry. They come with logic. I'm a Pentecostal. I'm a Baptist. I'm a Methodist. I'm a Presbyterian. My mother was this. Leave that alone. No, pastor, because I was raised. It doesn't matter where you were raised. If it's not the truth, throw it away. It's no good. And everything that is not the truth is rubbish. And if you do not get in the truth, you have rubbish in your head. And that rubbish will hurt you one day. Showing them to walk in good works prepared beforehand. I should be walking blessed. I should be walking healthy. I should be walking prosperous. I'm prosperous. Even if I see that I have no nothing. I'm in the truth. And the truth says that I am prosperous in everything. The only thing that I am not seeing that truth, it has not materialized yet. Pay attention, but if my attitude continue in the truth, the provisions that are in the spiritual realm will start to come down to the physical so that I could see them. To renovate their mind and confession. Sadness. How are you, brother? Oh, I'm fighting. Oh, you're fighting. Waiting to see if God has mercy on me. You see, you go back to the lie. God already had mercy on you. Christ, the truth, is in you. What you have to learn is to pass it by your mouth so that you activate the truth in all the sense of the word. 
Amen. I'm here to preach the truth that God has told me at all cost. I cannot compromise this message. Amen. I cannot compromise this message. Clarifying the gospel, the dispensation. All of them from the old covenant are cursed. Until the manifestation of the incorruptible Adam, from Adam to Christ, all were cursed. Pay attention. From when Adam sinned, he subjected all creation, sub constituted them sinners. Romans 5.19 says that by one man, they were all constituted sinners. Not until Christ came, all before him were cursed. All. All of them were cursed. Moses, the prophets. Showing them the only gospel for the Gentiles. Paul's gospel. That's why you see a lot of sheep out there. That you feel sorry for them. Because they are in churches that they have another gospel. I accused them this morning that they are in another gospel. Oh, pastor, you're defending yourself. No, I'm not defending myself. I am identifying them with the discernment of the word that the majority of the churches is another gospel, a mixed gospel. If it's not of grace, you are in another gospel. Identifying the lies of the religious system. It's up to you and I to present the clear evidence that what they are preaching out there is not the truth. Starting with all the seminars, they are no good. And after many years of edifying, his beloved would recognize that the other, the edifier, is God himself. And the church saw that fulfilled in his life. There are many things that manifest in our bodies, but there are others that don't. Look at the problem that I have, that you say that I am God. And it's not that you say that I'm God, it's that this book says that I'm God. I... And in that manner, he would recognize that he is the man Christ Jesus. Here's the key. For as the lightning comes from the east, Asia, and flashes to the west, a tropical island in the middle of the Atlantic, named Puerto Rico, west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. I'm counting the days to the transformation.